the Ozzer, Pampered Bees, the Ozzer style. Robber Bees, fix, they full rub them away. According to educated and knowledgeable beekeepers, one in particular, if I may reference, Michael Bush, who both Maddie and I had the opportunity to see personally one time at a beekeeper's hives here in this area at the Pikes Peak region. Michael Bush was here last year, early in the year. Thank you, Michael Bush, for the recommendation of using Dick's paper rub. And from a few other write-ups, I'm going to apply it underneath through here. And maybe on, say, the corners here and here. The idea is that the hive knows of the queen and the odor aroma of the queen is what the hive uses to recognize this colony. That's why you can have multiple colonies stacked side by side, be them Langstroth's or Topar hives, and bees know which hive to go into. It's because they can recognize the smell of their queen. This disrupts a robber bee's ability to zero in on the aroma of the honey. They are able to zero in on it through readings on their antennae. And they buzz outside getting that read. And then when they see it favorable, they'll try and shoot past the guard bees at the door. And if they get in, well, they get in. And if they get out successfully, then they take off, of course, and tell their hive about this place. If they don't get out successfully, that's when you'll see these spikes on the porch, on the landing. The bees are aggressively attacking each other. You'll see one bee being attacked by a multitude of bees. That is a robber bee. They will, you know, they will fall, they will fight to the death. If they can kill that bee, they will fight to the death of that bee. They will even go so far as to grab it and carry it to the ground and continue to attack that bee. I watched a bee try to walk off because it could no longer fly. The guard bee had destroyed its wings so badly and that guard bee still kept at it because it is a cutthroat world out here. It really is. And bees want to survive. Look at all the beautiful pollen laden hind legs of these bees. This is beautiful. We've got something going on around here. Some plants are blooming. That is excellent. I have ornamental grasses and I'm going up, I'm cutting them down in the process of cutting down last year's growth. I let them stand through winter into the into just before the start of spring. And then I cut down my last year's ornamental grasses. And, and you, when you, uh, I'm seeing green at the base of them right now. We're having a pretty clement winter again here and things are already starting to, to bloom and grow. As you can see, our bees are bringing home the goods. They're bringing home pollen and things. This is great. Very happy about that. So I just put some Vicks Vapor Rub on the hive entrance to here underneath the awning and on the corners, hoping that it will deter if not even stop robber bees from taking advantage of our hive. We haven't had per se a profuse amount of them, but I have seen it happening and going on. Yeah, I will try to keep a better track of what I think the results are using Dick's Vapor Rub if it's of a benefit or definitely if it's negative, which I don't think it will be. Again, thank you Michael Bush for your recommendation to use this. Thank you for the other people that have posted other entries that I can't think their names of right now about how they used this product on their hive. The Ozzer, Pampered Bees, the Ozzer style. Robber Bees away. Robber Bees fix away.
love bees. Okay, doogie. Gonna get out of your flight path, okay?